the enigmatic but naive naga land belongs to its people the nagas who walk the circle of life tapping along the rhythms of traditional chants built upon a unique social and value system the naga life promotes love and relationship with one and all Naga's bonding with bamboo is special. Bamboo since ages has been a family friend to them through thick and thin, despair and hope. And today it is helping them to transit into the present times smoothly and confidently. Today, Nagaland is seeing a rapidly growing bamboo industry that promises to add good value to the economy of the state. In the northeast, we have about 65% of the bamboo resources of the country, and Nagaland has 5% of the whole uh, national resources that is available and confined in our 16,000 uh, square kilometers of area. National Mission on Bamboo Application, along with Nagaland Bamboo Development Agency, is mentoring the state industry's growth drive through its result oriented bamboo policy, which is meant to ensure the conservation of the natural wealth, revitalization of traditional art and craft, and development of bamboo-related industry at a consistent pace. The policy incorporates a two-pronged strategy for interventions and development. To develop bamboo as a resource and development of bamboo as an enterprise, a set of strategically designed activity has been put in place to promote bamboo as green gold among the farmers, traders and the industry. Varok or Dendrocalmus giganteus, the tallest bamboo in India, has been used in Nagaland to construct a magnificent pavilion at the Kisama Heritage Village on the outskirts of Kohima, the capital city of Nagaland. It is host to the famous annual festival of the arts, the Hornbill Festival, that takes place in December every year. This celestial pavilion is made of bamboo and spans a length of 100 feet, covers a width of 60 feet and has a height of 7 meters. The 450 gigantic bamboo poles provide the strength and the support to the pavilion. This marvel of a structure is entirely free of iron, steel, cement or brick. Nagaland has nearly 5% of India's bamboo stock and nearly 90% of it is in private lands. This makes the state unique and one can quite easily see an active network of mandis and trading in bamboo poles. As one drives from the Dimapur airport into the city, the glimpses of bamboo and its uses shows how this industry is pivotal and vital to the state economy. One can see a variety of fences, of rolls of matting, of bamboo poles and of flattened bamboo. Houses, fields, shops, warehouses and even industries and go-downs use bamboo fencing on a large scale. Then are the shops, houses and structures that also use a wide and throbbing range of building materials. Nagaland also has a very rich tradition of crafts and utility products made from bamboo using hand and basic machine skills. The Nagaland Bamboo Development Agency was set up as the nodal state agency to implement the bamboo policy goals in 2005. With the project-based support of the NMBA and the contributions by the National Bamboo Mission for Plantation, the NBDA has coordinated an investment of more than 50 crore rupees in two years in the bamboo sector. The state provides an annual budgetary support of rupees 3 crores. With the active support of the NMBA, an impressive common facilities and training center has come up at the NBDA. These facilities also serve as incubation centers for new entrepreneurs. The facilities cover a broad range. Bamboo stick, strips, sliver production unit, a bamboo central nursery, vegetative propagation unit and bamboo septum, bamboo charcoal production kiln in three technologies, bamboo charcoal be unit, bamboo treatment plant, 
Bamboo Fiber Sanitary Napkin Unit, Bamboo Venetian Blinds Weaving Unit, and a 100 kVA gasifier that runs on bamboo waste and provides power to the facilities. The NBDA has embarked on an impressive program to set up 43 mat weaving clusters in the state. The total project cost is rupees 102 lakhs and rupees 40 lakhs are being provided by the NMBA for the plant and machinery. The mat weaving cluster at Tuli is running successfully. The quality of mats is exceptional and there is a long-term purchase tie-up with APIL, a board manufacturing facility in Arunachal Pradesh. Roadside marketing sheds and wayside shelters or resting places with bamboo materials and bamboo roofing. There are programs of the NBDA that have generated good enthusiasm. I am getting the raw materials through Nagaling to the help of Nagaling bamboo machine. Uh, they are sourcing all the raw materials for the, for the Nagaling foods. Since it was a very new concept where, and we were totally sold on the idea, we found that like a very comfortable. The NMBA has also played a significant role in promoting bamboo industrial applications in Nagaland. This final product I have market in Bombay, Delhi and lots of uh, metropolitan cities. More and more demands are coming. I've sold my products in uh, Delhi, uh, in the local market and uh, in Meghalaya. Last year turnover was uh, about a 40-50 lakhs only. For this season, we are planning in a very big way. Marketing is an essential part and uh, we are uh, very grateful to the National Mission on Bamboo Application because uh, the applications part, we learn from them. Tools, equipments, they have provided to us in uh, whatever uh, new technologies that they could give. And then the marketing aspect also, the NMB has been helping us. There is a project for establishment of 11 emergency operation centers in the state made of bamboo board materials. Also, a battery of 45 charcoal kilns has been set up in nine bamboo clusters in various parts of the state. Looking at the bamboo guest house of the NBDA, one marvels at the skills of the people of the state in handling and working with bamboo. The future of bamboo industry in Nagaland is perceptibly bright. The industry will create equitable incomes and employment. Well, we have found the responses tremendous. And uh, we didn't expect uh, the uh, younger generation to respond because it was something which they have seen their fathers using, but then it was put in a new, say, a new, new bottle, old wine in a new bottle. But uh, even in the, up to the school level, school children are now discussing bamboo. Today, one still hears the kinetic chants, but experiences a fresh energy. One also sees Nagaland racing into the future, promising the best to its grandchildren.